Whether you believe you can or cannot, you're absolutely right. This is a quote uh, allegedly by Henry Ford in 1947, and it applies perfectly to the huge, significant change that happened overnight. Jupiter is now in Aries, and self-belief, optimism, self-determination, self-focus are definitely on the cards. As a life coach, I am reminded daily of how your life is a reflection of your beliefs and your actions, of course. We all know, you know very well, that your thoughts determine your emotions. It's not the other way around. Then your emotions determine your actions. And guess what? The actions you take determine the results you get and the life you get. So as they say, change your beliefs, change your life. That's a fact. This is a fantastic opportunity for everybody to move forward with their lives. This is the beginning of a new 12 year phase. It is at the beginning of the zodiac. And so, just like Aries, the energy is fresh, vital, excited, ready to pounce, ready to go for what you, for, for you want because, because there's nothing else that matters so much. So, where is Aries in your chart? Which house is it in? What planets do you have in Aries? All of these are going to get an incredible boost over the next few months. Jupiter is in Aries from now until the end of October. And then again from the end of December until mid-May next year. So it's not a super long stay. Of course, in perfect Aries style, everything happens fast, 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 including Jupiter's transit through the sign. So it's important to make the most of it. And trust me, things are going to start happening like that. Now, um, with Jupiter being in Aries, we really need to watch closely what Mars is doing because Aries is ruled by Mars. So Jupiter will magnify the energy of Mars and what Mars is doing. Now, this can be good because on one hand, this increases our uh, strength and positivity and, um, and, and power to go for what we want. However, with Mars, you always have to be aware of increased confrontation, increased danger and increased, uh, let's just say, selfishness okay self-centeredness and selfishness so on one hand we are bound to see um, increased display of strength and leadership so you're gonna have people butting in butting up with each other because uh, it's it's very much about the ego it's very it's the most masculine energy you can have so it's like high testosterone for sure and whether that's good or bad it depends on the particular case and it depends on what you choose to do with this energy you are in the control room you decide what action to take so think carefully pause breathe Eris is naturally impatient naturally jumps into situations, runs after what he wants. But sometimes you have to pause and think, pause and think. In astrology, we have these two planets, Jupiter and Saturn, that represent opposites, really, because Saturn wants you to be cautious, think things through, like grow up, you know, do the mature and, and wise thing, uh, not take risks. Jupiter, especially in a fire sign, is bound to be uh, 
all about expansion, progression, fun. Um, it's also about spiritual healing in general and, and also physical healing. So whichever house in your horoscope uh, has got this transit going. So, you know, the Aries is wherever is Aries in your natal chart, that sector of life is going to get a boost as well. It's going to grow, expand, heal even. So go and check it out on my uh, free web page, which uh, allows you to do that if you don't know already. So you need to know your ascendant degree, your rising sign. And then from there, you work out the house with Aries. So uh, you can do this at sparkastrology.com house calculator. Now, um, as well as Aries, other signs are going to benefit this time round. And so um, kudos to you if you have any fire in your chart. So whether it's uh, a planet or uh, the rising sign or the mid heaven or, you know, 10th house, 4th house, 7th house, 1st house. Great success, joy and opportunity awaits you if you seize whatever opportunity comes your way. Staying at home, moping or just wishing things to happen without taking action is not going to get you anywhere. But dreaming big, visualizing, um, being open to opportunity, in fact, going for, going for more than you think you can get. This is the Jupiter key. And if you're having the transit affecting one of your natal placements, as we said, boom, do it. Aim higher than you think you can get and you will be surprised, but only if you take action. Uh, now, it's not all roses with this transit, like no transit is all roses ever. So what do we need to look out for? The number one thing to look out for is what Mars is doing. First of all, Mars is going to uh, join Jupiter exactly at the end of May. So it goes into Aries. That's always a big thing. And then not only does it go into Aries on the same day that the moon is in Aries as well. And then just a few days later joins Jupiter. Um, but so this energy is going to be so magnified expect uh, as a minimum a lot of initiative a lot of action uh, very dynamic very fast lots of impatience as well um, and possibly a lot of confrontation so uh, channel this energy for actually doing things and moving forward in your life taking action where until now, when, when Jupiter was in Pisces, it was all about emotional overwhelm. I don't know about you, but whew, it, was, uh, it was very intense. This is going to be intense, but in a different way. In a, in, there's going to be so much momentum in your life. So just focus on good, positive things, not negativity, not confrontation, not you know, doing absolutely dangerous things. Be careful because, you know, this is, this, this is um, really hot energy. So um, we need to be very aware of what Mars is doing. So apart from that, apart from going into Aries, and that's huge, and joining up with your, um, Jupiter, which is huge, later on in the year, in the summer, we also have Mars um, conjoining Uranus and the North Node. This happens exactly, you know, over, over, over a period of time, but basically it peaks on the 1st of August and whew, that's going to be huge, huge. Now, let's see what happens. But, you know, Mars, Uranus energy is absolutely incendiary, absolutely uh, because Uranus pushes, pushes for change, is the energy of instability, rebellion, breaking 
with the status quo, with the old, with what's served until now. Mars goes there, boom, lights the fire. So globally, it's concerning. It's concerning because on top of that, it's, you know, <laughs> Mars is then moving towards a square with Saturn. That's not good either. So it's not that it's not good, but it, it can be, it has the potential of being um, very frustrating as a minimum. Frustration and clashes with authority, I would say. So, careful. <laughs> um, there's also another aspect that we need to look at. It's uh, from Aries, Mars, Wheel Square, Pluto. Woo! Again, that's explosive. So we've got so much happening. Mars is doing so much while it's being magnified and amplified by Jupiter energy. I mean, if, if, one, if Jupiter is one thing, is a big magnifier. So even if it does nothing else, you know, even if it doesn't deliver on anything else, it will 100% magnify Martian energy. Considering what's going on in the world, is that a good thing? I am a little bit concerned, but this doesn't, you know, we need to stay focused on, on our lives. We can control um, and, and leave out what we cannot control. Uh, this is absolutely key in life. Because if you can't control it, why bother? Why worry about it? You can't do anything about it. So, so use this energy, which is powerful, which is strong, which is, you know, we give, which has great potential for moving forward in your life in positive ways. So taking action, embracing change, uh, aiming high. These are all things that we can all do, uh, regardless of where, where in your lives, we can all do that. And um, what else? Um, so I would strongly recommend you get a Jupiter reading because this year it's so incredible, the, the, the number of aspects, the number of transits. So get a Jupiter reading, get ahead of the curve. And booking now on my website, sparkosrage.com, product, forecast. And, uh, you know, it, it's going to help you plan because, and especially know which moments are going to be more challenging for you. And so you need to prepare for those, plan ahead rather than just react which is the urge with this placement, but it may not be the right thing to do when you've got aspects to Pluto, Saturn and Uranus at the same time. So I would suggest plan ahead, have a look at where you need to be extra careful. Uh, those are the key points uh, in, the, in the year. And, and so uh, let's work together on this. Let's, let's, let's highlight opportunity and danger for you this year and at the same time you know let's enjoy this fantastic expansive energy that starts a new phase a new 12 year phase in our lives uh, by looking back as well looking back to 2010 from september 2010 and then through 2011 that's when we last had uh, Jupiter in Aries. It was a fantastic time for me so much. I got so much out of this transit. Uh, so I am really hoping that this year is going to be the same. I need it. Uh, it's been a bit challenging uh, for me, quite a bit challenging, I have to say, personally. Um, so, but lots of growth at the same time. So it's important, you know, to, to look forward and ride the wave, get forward, you know, seize, you know, seize the opportunities as they come, make them happen even, you know, bring them to you if they're not coming. Uh, this is the kind of energy that we're dealing with and that I would encourage you uh, to embrace, but be aware of the dangerous points, uh, whether it's actual danger or frustration and blockages. So get in touch and we can talk about what they are for you based on your natal chart, not just generic 
horoscopes you read in the papers or whatever specific to you all right much love enjoy life embrace life with zest optimism and vitality and hopefully see you soon okay bye bye